hi again so welcome to part two so in, in this course as i told you before we gonna see everything about how to repair a deed a failed and no power motherboard so basically you will understand how to diagnose the motherboard step by step how to diagnose any circuit in the motherboard until you find and you isolate exactly the problem. We're gonna see all circuits, we're gonna see how to discompose, etc. So let's get started with part two. So in previous part, in part one, we have seen the three volt and five volt circuit. We have seen that. For example, if you want to diagnose and to look for the problem in any motherboard, okay? Especially if you have the power problem, here basically as you can see we have here the power jack plug as you can see and here we have the power or the charge ic circuit as you can see here we have the charge ic here here this is basically the battery connector and here we have the dc jack plug means here this is the charge ic circuit okay so but me as and experts on laptop motherboard repairing, I give you some secrets that you can use in order to gain the time and don't waste time while troubleshooting or isolating the issue. So if you have, for example, no power, you can go directly and check the three volt and five volt circuit. Do not waste time over here and check this component, etc. Go directly and check three volt and five volt circuit. So, if you find that the 3 volts and 5 volts are present, means automatically this stage, all this part here are good. Because the 3 volt and 5 volts, the presence of 3 volt and 5 volts means automatically that the charge IC circuit is serviceable, is good 100%. For example here, as you can see, we put the black probe in the ground, over here we have the ground, over here also we have the ground, and we put the red probe here in this inductor, this is basically the 3 volt channel, and here we have the 5 volt channel. Do you see? We put the red probe here, and we get in the multimeter 3.33 volts. As you can see here in the schematic, we have the inductor. This inductor is this inductor this capacitor here we have the capacitor okay and this part or this this point we have the this point over here so please pay attention never waste time while troubleshooting or repairing motherboards because as a technician or engineer you have not just one motherboard or two maybe you have 10 motherboards a day so you should know about the tips tricks and secrets on how to gain the time and spot directly the the, the failure without wasting time and <coughs> sorry and as i told you before in previous videos for example i show you in previous videos how to detect the short circuit in the motherboard in just 10 seconds 15 seconds is maximum you can give me any motherboard whatever its type or difficulty any shortest motherboard and give me the multimeter i can spot and detect the short circuit in 10 seconds maximum or even 15 seconds you can go back and check my videos okay so let's continue with the part two so basically we have seen the three volt and five volt circuit and of course i want to add here that let's assume for example that we didn't fi find here three volt and five volt into three volt five volt circuit so at this time we can go back here and check the charge circuit so what we have exactly in the charge circuit so we have the power jack plug basically this power or this jack has an extension these two cables as you can see these two cables are high hold 19 volts these two pins is connected directly to these two cables 
and these two pins are ground connected to these two cables here we have an inductor that hold 19 volts here we have a switch this is a mosfet but we called it a switch why we called it a switch because it switch just 19 volt from drain to source or from source to drain in a, so depending in the type of the mosfet is it np in mosfet or pmp mosfet i will show you all this in the next lectures so what we have here you can check just this plug with this as you can see terminals are connected directly to the motherboard or not if there is a drive for example you should make a little bit solder okay here we have inductor this inductor basically you should you should you should all, of course check it using the multimeter the inductor the good inductor is the in inductor that gives the continuity or the buzzer using the multimeter we have a switch so the switch it will take 19 volts and give here 19 volts so you should find here 19 volt and also here 19 volt basically here we have source and we have drain do you see this white mark means this is basically the gates i mean gate had three pins for source this piece for gate and over here we have drain so here we will get 19 volts because these three pins are connected directly to those pins and the gate will receive a control signal of course from this ic to charge ic and we will get 19 volt okay and of course we have here some other component like a transistor we have zener diode to stabilize the current etc okay so here we gonna see other thing so for the short circuit for the short circuit for example we want to check this motherboard is it shorted or not so we will use here the adapter but i advise you to use adapter with led over here like adapters for deal for example they contain led but if you if you have adapter without an led you can just buy any other adapter with an led okay in order to see exactly the led the on off state in the led okay so here we have the motherboard basically this motherboard is shorted so once we connect this adapter here this as you can see led will shut off will turn off this one and this one means automatically that we have the short circuit here okay so let's check right now do you see okay do you see as we connect the charge or the adapter in the motherboard this led turns off so this is basically a note not uh, or a rule not a note i consider this is a rule in laptop motherboard repairing or computer motherboard repairing so when you insert the adapter as you can see and the leds of adapter or, or for laptop turned off means 100 percent the motherboard is shorted okay so this is a run okay so let's let's continue so let's try again so please pay attention to these two leds okay oops as you can see so as you can see the leds are off means that the motherboard is shorted so here we will begin the detection process of the shorts that i have already explained to you please go back and see my videos and you will understand exactly how to check the short circuit easily and quickly but no problem i will make a summarize right now so if you have a shorted motherboard and you want to check for the short circuit what should you do exactly so basically you're gonna use the inductors in the motherboard so here we have inductors as you can see do you see inductor so because the inductor can never be connected to the ground as you can see always inductors exist in the power rail so this inductor 
exists in the 5 volt power rail, this one. And this one exists in the 3.3 volt power rail. So the inductors can never be connected to the ground. And of course, this inductor, as you can see here, is in the charge IC circuit. So the inductors, please remember this tip. The inductors in laptop or computer motherboard can never be connected to the ground. Never. Always the inductor are connected to power rail. Okay, are connected to the power rails. So once we know this tip or, or this rule, then we can use inductors to detect whether we have the short circuit or not. For example, let's assume we have this inductor here. This inductor is connected to plus five volt. Let's assume that we check using the multimeter between this inductor and the ground, and we find a very low reading or we 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 hear a buzzer in the multimeter means what means over here we have the short circuit because normally we should get here five volt okay or three volt depending in the channel but we get zero volts or we get a buzzer, basically not zero volts, but we get a buzzer, we, we get a very low reading because to check for the short circuit, you should put the multimeter to the buzzer option, okay? To the buzzer option. Once we get a buzzer, means we have a short circuit. So the short circuit obviously could be this capacitor or this capacitor because these two capacitors are connected to the ground. Over here we have the ground. It could be also the MOSFETs. It could be also the IC. Okay? So to check or to find the short circuit, always use the inductors. This is a secret that many technicians and engineers didn't know. They just look for the short circuit by checking all components in the motherboard, by checking the diodes, etc. No, never do this. I told you that you can detect the short circuit in just 10 seconds. As you can see here, we have how, how many inductors could you find in the motherboard? I, I, I mean big inductors. We have one, two, three, four, five. And of course, you could have other for the CPU, four for the CPU and others for chipsets or and for RAM basically about 10 inductors about 10 inductors big inductors so you will put the red probe or the black probe in the ground and check the 10 inductors using the red probe of the multimeter check this one no reading uh, the reading is good check this one the reading is good this one this one until you find a very low reading and or a buzzer 10 seconds is enough or even 15 seconds and you will spot the short circuit okay so once for example you you find that you have for example a short circuit here in this circuit for example you check this inductor you hear a buzzer means you have short circuit not here not here not here you have a short circuit in this part in this circuit of course it could be here, but the short circuit about 90% will ha will be here because you find the short you find this inductor, for example, is shorted. So once we find this inductor is this one. Okay, this one is this one. Once, for example, you get the short circuit, you should then check all components that is connected to the ground, including this capacitor, this capacitor, the IC over here, this one. And the MOSFETs basically because under these channels here we have two MOSFETs okay so this is how you can detect and check whether you have a short circuit in the motherboard or not okay